In a previous episode, we solved an issue fixing animations in this to-do list. Now they work great adding a new to-do or checking a completed one. It starts the completed to-do to the bottom and keep the uncompleted at the top. However, it keeps another potential bug that could be really hard to discover. Even it could crash your application. The problem is in the sorting algorithm. What we're doing here is what I mentioned before, moving up the uncompleted and keep the completed at the bottom. This is managed by this is complete boolean value. Pause the video and take a few seconds to see this code. Can you spot what could be wrong on this algorithm? The problem is that the sorting is not stable. Yeah, we are sorting the completed and uncompleted to-dos, but what will happen with the subset of completed and uncompleted to-dos? They don't have any criteria to keep a sorting in their subsets. And this might produce unexpected behaviors like random swaps between the elements in the subset. And this could be a big problem because if this happened at some moment where SwiftUI is getting the view identity, it will produce weird UI events or even crashing your applications in the worst case. How can we solve this? On any sorting algorithm, we need to consider the side effects of the subset. The fix could be done adding a secondary criteria of sorting. In this example, we can sort the subset by the index position in the array. We can achieve this by transforming the array into an enumerary collection. This will create a pair of two values, the actual element in the original array and a new value called offset that represents the current index position of the element in the array. And this will solve the problem. Of course, we need to convert the enumerated back to array and map it to get the element. The fix may look verbose, but it's safer than the previous approach and robust for long term. Tell me, did you get what was the issue? Do you know a better way to fix this? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.